want to be an e-girl today. Wake up early morning, every day and cut a chick. Bad bitch around my ink, drip and give a nick. Me need to frame it, then it's a bit. Choke a chain down, but next is baguettes. Shutting that trip for me, nah, nothing less. Big. Whatever. I'm back again with another video. So today's video, we're going to be transforming myself into an e-girl. Yes, a whole e-girl. If you be on TikTok, you probably know what an e-girl is. But if you don't, I'm about to tell you what it is right now. So I pulled it up on Urban Dictionary. And they say an e-girl is a species of an emo usually found on TikTok. But commonly spends time on Tumblr. Can be found wearing pink eyeshadow with a large wing winged little hearts under the eyes and a blush nose normally wearing some type of shirt from urban outfitters or a long sleeve striped shirt commonly found doing the me 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 dance but has probably never seen it before i don't know what the me 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 dance is but we'll figure that out later on um but okay so basically that's what an e-girl is i guess it's like a like a little popular thing going on on the TikTok community or in high school let me know it's been a minute since I've been in high school, so I don't know, and I don't, I don't know who I can ask if that's even a thing. Like, I have no high school friends or cousins or anything. Everybody's basically grown. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to be transforming myself into an e-girl, y'all. So right now, I just got off the shower and washed my hair and moisturized my face. My hair already dried up from it being co-washed. I was going to, like, moisturize it on camera, or, like, put some leave-in conditioner and then, like, braid it up because I'm going to be putting on a wig. But yeah, so today's video is sponsored by Seely Hair Company. They sent me a red wig. So that's basically what I'm going to be putting on my head. Um, Because I did look up a starter pack and it said that these girls wear colorful like hair. They dye their hair. And I'm not dyeing my hair. My hair is blonde. But I'm not dyeing my hair. Um, I'm going to be putting a wig on and plus it's straight. And I feel like E-girls don't have hair like me. I haven't seen an e-girl with hair like this. So we're going to be basically braiding up my hair, putting this bad boy on, and uh, it looks like it's a frontal. Yeah, it's a frontal wig. Frontal colorful bob wig, about probably 12 inches long. And yeah, we're just about to get started. So let me go ahead and moisturize my hair first. I'm honestly going to be lazy because I know I'm not going to wear that wig for a long time. It's just basically for this video. I'm going to basically just do two braids, corn roll it back, put a wig cap on, and call it a day. Hopefully the wig is secured though because I'm not trying to put no glue on my edges or got to be or none of that stuff. I haven't used that in so long. But yeah, oh my babe. I didn't show y'all. So I'm using my moisturizer by Curly Chick. It's a leave-in. That's what I'm going to be using in my hair to moisturize it. Then I'm going to take like a denim brush. It's not like a denim, but it's like a fake denim. <laughs> and I'm about to just comb out my hair, brush it out just a little. Not too much because god dang it's a little. Mm -hmm kind of hard because it's not soaking wet. I usually don't do it like this, but I'm just trying to brush it enough to where I can braid it. I hope my armpits ain't looking like who did it or what. Ooh, thank God it ain't. <laughs> All right, so basically I'm just gonna do a corn roll or French braid, whatever you wanna call it. As nice and tight as you possibly can. I'm not the best, but I can do the job. Alrighty, so our hair is braided up now into two braids looking like this. 
Looking like Felicia. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> now, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the wig cap. Get the inside out. And we're just gonna put this right on top of our head. I'm trying to look at the hairline of this wig real quick. See if I wanna pluck any out. But it's like, we're, we're not tripping too hard because we're not really wearing this wig like that. It looks like it's already like pre-plucked though somewhat. It's gonna like cut the lace off and put it on top of our head and we're gonna see from there. So I just cut off the lace. Um, I didn't cut off the lace in the back because honestly you're not gonna see it because I'm not gonna put my hair up. But it has lace on the back so I'm just gonna leave it how it is. It has a wig comb right here. Well how many wig combs does it got? One, two, three, four. Yeah, it has, it has four wig combs, one in the back, um, two on the side, and one in the middle, and an adjustable strap. So I'm gonna adjust this strap to the tightest setting because I got a small ass head. super duper soft and silky which is a good thing there we go my bad I have my camera on my my camera set like so high I don't know why the brightness is so high but yeah um okay so the wig is basically on I low-key feel like I need to like put some like foundation on top of the wig cap or like on the lace just so it can like look a little bit more natural um i'm actually gonna do concealer so i got my rubber bands now and e-girls they like to wear their hair in like two ponytails with like the little side pieces hanging out so these are gonna be our two side pieces right here then we're gonna wanna Grab this and then put this in a ponytail. Hopefully this does not look too bad because I feel like I need to glue it down now. But we're gonna finesse. We're gonna try to finesse. So ponytail. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like we're finessing, are we? What the heck? I don't know about this. <laughs> or makeup, I don't know. I decided I'm just gonna straighten out the wig. And then, yeah. <laughs> Hope for the best. girl basically has is blushed uh, a blush nose well going based off of the urban dictionary it says uh, can be wearing pink eyeshadow with a large wing with little hearts under the eyes and blush nose so that's like the main thing that this that makes you be like oh that's an e-girl so like I'm gonna make sure I like really like pinpoint on that So like the um, 
definition said e-girls wear pink but I have red hair so I'm not quite sure how that's gonna look and I don't ever really wear eyeshadow but anyways I'm gonna go on this Morphe palette the 35B palette and it's a little busted because I take this everywhere I go like when I go back and forth from Cali to Texas so it's a little like a hot mess like when I'm telling you it's a hot mess it's a hot mess yeah so I'm gonna use this as my transition shade well I'm just gonna transition and then once I get to the, like the real colors I'm gonna show you which color I use so yeah that's what we about to do with this pink color like I feel like that's the appropriate color for me in my hair so I don't think it would look too bad so I'm gonna just get a little bit of that oh it actually came out looking low-key fire I think I like it for the like lid part though let's see what am I feeling I'm gonna go in with like like a gold kind of shimmer I feel like that would look good Ooh, I don't know about that I need a darker shimmer I guess let's go in with this one I hope I don't look like a damn clown I really don't know what I'm doing here things get real you gotta do the eyeliner I haven't done eyeliner in such a hot minute so this might be a struggle who knows but God just be with me so we do not mess up nothing here so I feel like it looks pretty cute so let's see it said like wing wing so we need to make it winged up That's pretty good, pretty good wing. Oh, one came out like better than the other. Oh. I think my eye makeup is good. Now I'm gonna do the pink blush nose and blush on my cheeks and uh, a little bit of highlighter, I guess. So yeah. Ooh, I feel like I look like Rudolph. <laughs> Ooh, guys, I almost forgot the important part, which is hearts underneath the eyes. So we're gonna do some hearts. So let's see how this goes. Ooh. I think I did it. I don't even think I need to do highlighter. That's just not my thing. Okay, no highlighter. Um, I'm about to just do some lip gloss. I feel like I look like a little clown. Okay, so let's go ahead and take our scarf off and see what's going on. It actually helped lay it down. We just need these to be more like out. You know what I mean? Like, maybe I should just redo the plain toes. Oh, there we go. That's more out. It looks like Halloween. <laughs> I mean, isn't this like a perfect time to do this? 
I don't know y'all. Did I do good on the makeup, like for the e-girl look? Or does this wig just, just throw it all the way off? Like should I have done this with curly hair? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. I don't know. I mean, I like the wig. It looks good on my skin tone to me. But yeah. Well, my armpits getting a little musty, so let me... Oh, wait. No, wait. Because I don't want deodorant stains on my uh, outfit. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and clean up this makeup area and try my outfit. Basically, I'm going to be using my sister's shirt. She has a black and white striped shirt, and I'm going to put on a dress on top of that and then some band sneakers. I don't have the boots. I feel like this is gonna do. I feel like this is gonna, like, we're gonna pull off as an e-girl. And after that, I'm gonna go get some accessories because I don't have any. So we're gonna go to the mall and pick up, uh, excuse me, and pick up some from, uh, what is it called, Hot Topic? So that's what we're gonna do, guys. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. So according to the definition on uh, Urban Dictionary, an e-girl wears um, a striped black and white shirt, long sleeve and tight, you know, with like a black top or dress. And so basically this is going to be like underneath the dress. So it's going to be something like this. And then I might pair it with these vans or my checkered vans. I don't have like any like, I don't know what those boots are called, but the black boots. But yeah, this is basically going to be the fit. And I'm about to hop into it right now. I'm naked. So yeah, <laughs> we're about to hop into this outfit and see how it looks. So you guys, I'm in the car now with my little sister. We're heading to the mall to go get some accessories because I have no like e-girl accessories like I don't have no choker so that's basically what I'm gonna go do I'm not gonna show y'all the full fit until I get all my shit period poo <laughs> you like that wasn't cute that was so cringe huh oh what do I oh so I can't say that huh what Whatever she says, she knows. I don't. I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna catch y'all at the mall. I feel like I look like Chucky. Like this could be such a good Halloween costume. I don't know if I did good on my eye makeup though, because I feel like it looks so droopy. Like it needs to be like up like this, you know? See y'all later. We're here at Lake Line Mall. About to go into um, what do you call it? Hot Topic or spin Spencer's. Yeah. So, I ain't trying to spin a bank, just needing some um, chokers. I know people are probably staring at me like, what the <laughs> That's where we are, Hot Topic. Accessories over here, I think. So, here's all the accessories over here, y'all. Um, I just need a choker. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, which one should I get? I don't know. I like that. This, this one right here or this one? That one. This one? Yeah. But that one has like that black squiggly one. This one just This has... one's like old school. Get this one. Get that one? Yeah. Or this one? Throwback. So this one? This one? Yeah. My sister thinks I should get this one. I like the butterfly one. I've been thinking about getting a and butterfly tattoo. Let's see. You you don't think that broken lock cart looks Whoever dope? Whoever holds the key. It's, you're right. That one is more. Yeah. All right. I like the heart of this one, so we're getting this one. Oh really? I think. I don't get why in some stores you can't record. Like I don't get that at all. Like, what's wrong with recording? It's like you're on Snapchat. Look at her trying to get free smoothies. But anyways, I went and got this choker. <laughs> I'm about to get me some new shoes, y'all. Trying to put on my choker. This is the last final thing. We're gonna try to take some pictures right here since the sun went away. Alright, you guys, so I got my choker on, and this is the final look of my e girl outfit. So let me just show it off. So, 
now Keisha's gonna take pictures of me for the gram. And then, yeah, I catch up with y'all when I get to the house. Overall, I had fun doing this video. This is a very fun video and I like like dressing up being different people. Um, I posted on Instagram who y'all thought I was. A lot of y'all thought I was um, Harley Quinn or I, don't, I might be saying that shit wrong, but the girl with like the pink and blue ponytails. I don't know why you guys thought that. Like I don't even have that hair. I have red hair in, but yeah, it's so funny. Uh, because y'all guys don't know who I am. And a lot of people thought I look like Trippy Red. And I was thinking that too when I was on the phone with Ty. I was like, I look like Trippy Red's girlfriend or sister. Like, I'm a Trippy Red girl. <laughs> but nah, um, this is my e-girl look. And I think I did pretty good. I rate my e-girl look like a cool, like a cool uh, eight, eight, nine. I, no, low-key, I gave myself a 10. I think I did good. Like, this is so not me. This is not my style at all. So, ooh. So, yeah, you guys comment down below what you guys think. Um, I'm definitely not an e-girl. I just, you know, I'm a very goofy, ratchet type girl. Um, I honestly can't even define my style because I'm trying to do a style upgrade. But this is cute. This is a cute uh, e-girl for a day. Let me know if you guys try this out. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah make sure you guys check out this wig down below and uh, remember remember what i told y'all it is Lee hair company links will be down below with this wig it's a 12 inch red bob bomb so soft and it did really good in the humidity out here in texas so that's bomb all right you guys so that's the end of me transforming myself into an e-girl if you guys enjoy it make sure to get this video a big thumbs up and if you guys want to see me transform into a bisco girl, girl i need this video to get to 2000 likes asap so comment down below what you guys think if i passed or not And yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye. Yeah, I throw that ass back to see if he gon' catch it. I ain't never let it, but it's tennis for the necklace. Yeah.